I just want you to take a minute before the Lord. No gain a little yaku gane maga iwe we gai mahida marimode. Just open your mouth and talk to your Father. Just tell Him thank you for the Father that He has brought you. Tell Him thank you for the Father that He has brought your family. Tell God to thank you even because of this new year. Just take a minute before the Lord and talk to your Father in heaven. Mungu ambaya naskia, Mungu ambaya naona. Mungu ambaye anabariki, Mungu ambaye anatenda mambo ya ajabu. Mungu ambaye anaponya, Mungu ambaye anainua. Netoroi gawe newe gai mahida mare mode. Netoroi gawe newe kihoti wa mode. Nagotiri ukiwa hana take. Era mwada nini ureda kuradi medhi ni wa mwakoyo. Era mwada nini ureda shere na wedhi ni wa mwakoyo. Era mwada ni ya wekewega na geikaroge ya kuo. Era more than it doko na kurirareke na doko na kuhinyerere kareke Just talk to your father this morning Our father is faithful, he is faithful, he is loving He is kind, he is gracious He is listening to you even such a day and a moment Ambia mungu nataka wepo wako wenene wake wenene na wewe Ambia mungu wabariki tu familia yako Ambia mungu wakupatia wimbo mwingini ambao ni umpia Kateka jina la Yesu Christo Thank you, King of all the glory. We worship you and we honor you. We adore you, our dear Father. There is none like you. Father, may you take the full of preeminence. May you take the full authority in this sanctuary. May you go with us. May you move with us. We need you desperately, our dear Father. We are longing for you, our dear Father. Authority of the Lord, more than the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, more than the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We adore you, Father. Baba, katika jina la Yesu Christo. Wakati mwingine umefika ambao tunakuomba tuweze kunena pamoja nasi. Hata mimi ambaye nimebaki nimesimama mbele ama wakati ambapo nimesimama mbele ya wana wako. Ninakuomba baba uweze kunitumia kama chombo chako cha dhamana. Ili niweze kuleta ujumbe ujumbe wako. Kuwa pamoja nasi baba na utubariki tunapoendelea. Tunaomba tu baba utushike kwa mkono wako. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na hata kuamini. Tupigie Bwana makofi tunapoketi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of the Lord. Hebu nisalimie tu hivi tafadhali God is good. And all the time. And that is his nature. Wow. Turn to your neighbor. Muulize neighbor uko aje? Si umsalimie tu mpatie eh msalimie tu muulize how you how are you my neighbor? Praise the Lord. In the house of God there is a fullness of joy. In the house of God there is fullness of Yes, and if there is one thing that I will pray for, every time that you are going to be here, we are going to be full of joy. Tuwe watu ambao wamefurahi. Tufurahi kwa sababu tuweze kuwa pengine tunaishi na stress. Kazini tunakuwa na stress. Tukiwa kwa jamu tuna stress. Tena tukikuja kanisani tunakuwa na stress. Hiyo hatutakubali. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Eh hiyo hatutakubali. Lazima tufurahi when we are in the presence of the Lord. Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <sighs> I am, I just want, maybe even before I introduce myself, I just want to say thank you. I start with the praise and worship team for leading us so well in the praises, in worship. It was powerful. And I know that still God will be taking us from this glory to another one. Sindi sawa? What to praise and worship? Eh, hey, mpaka wakati tutaimba hapa tuone mpaka tumetoa handkerchief tumetoa jasho kabisa. Si ni sawa? Eh, hey, tuimbe kabisa. Choirs, the two of you, asante ni sana na Mungu wabariki na watendee mema. Thank you for wonderful presentation. Kuna mwali, au walimu wamenishtua voices zao. Mimi siwezi hivyo. Hizo voices mko nazo ziko juu sana. Eh ako pale mwingine anaimba mpaka siju kama ni soprano ananishtua Bwana Yesu asifiwe but I thank God because of your voices you are blessed may the Lord bless you and do you good thank you for all the presentation that has been done today and uh, may the Lord bless all of us 
I just want to ask the spouse of Reverend Karanja. I want to appreciate you. Atakama sita kwa ndiki appreciate all the other Sundays, but at least today it is my first Sunday. Eh, tuwe msalimu. Kaiwa, kaiwe nai henya, we nai henya atia. Si mama tu vizuri, salimi ena tu pole pole. Eh, zunguka tu, zunguka tu hivyo tu sawa. Asante sana. Yes. We thank God. I want to start by introducing myself now. Uh, because it is the first Sunday and you are going to see me in a number of many uh, Sundays here. My name is David Chege. I love Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. I am born again. Jesus Christ has been with me so many years. He has led me. His goodness and his mercies has been following me all the days of my life. This is far I am just rejoicing to be in the Lord. I have been serving in a presbytery called Kirimara West. It is in Mount Kenya region. And um, in a parish, parish called Karatina Parish. Maybe kama kuna wakati unaenda online. Ukienda online, you can see that service that I've been leading or we have been having. That is the parish that I have been. If I continue to the issue of the family, I have a wife. She's called Ruth Wa Boiwashege. And we are blessed with the five children. I'm going to begin my coffee. I deserve a clap there. Sinisawa? I deserve a clap there. Took on three girls, more than in year form one, Keshu. Ndiwanenda Kipsigis Girls, a national school. That is where she's joining. That is in Kericho town. And um, the other one, Alingia Junior Secondary. Na huyo mwingine hako grade 2 and you alingia and we were given by God as a blessing. Twins, boys. Bwana isu asifiwe. They are well. We reside in Nakuru. That is where we reside. My parents live in a place called Molo, Elbagon area. But for me, I reside in Nakuru in a place called Bahati because that is where she works from. That is my wife. And we thank God for that. Even without going further to the issue of the family, I just want to say that I am here. It is God who sent me here. That is one thing that I want to tell you. There was no any influence. Are you getting me? Yes. No influence. Yes. But it was the influence from above. The influence from? Above. Mungu ndi walitumana. Na kasema mimi wakati huu, nitakuja and I will serve you people. And for the time that God is going to give us here in this parish, I believe God has something for us. There is something that I will be learning. I will be learning from you, and there is something that I will, you will be learning from me. So in this journey, we are going to walk together. We shall be able to move from one level to another level spiritually, physically, every, in every aspect of life. Mungu atatusaidia tuende hii safari tukiwa pamoja. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mimi nimekuja tu kwa kazi rahisi sana na kazi ngumu sana. I am just here to be your servant. I am just here as a servant to you. And that one you will learn as we progress. And that is me. I am here just to serve you. When we are, the work that God has given me, I am here to come and preach the word of God. In and out of season. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Dee haa nige tha hujie ki woki ya mwadha ni. And I will be preaching that word of God. Na you will just allow me. God to use me in the preaching the word of God. Venya mekua kini tumia. Sini sawa. So that is one thing. When I will be here, I will be preaching in your districts. I will be preaching when you will be congregating in your groups. When you have your retreats, still I will be there. So I will be where I will be everywhere where you invite me through our patrons who are here. And I am no, I know very well that we shall be in a position of bringing forth the word of God from, or we grow in 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 the word of God. Another mission that I can say that God has given me when I am going to be here, it is the issue of prayers. Ambia mwezako ni maombi. Nasiri ni mlima. 
Hebu ambie mwenzako siri ni mlima. What I mean is this, siri tu ni kuomba Mwenyezi Mungu tu. The way Moses used to go to the mountain and he was able to get what he wanted. Hata sisi what you want, God has everything. Kwa hivyo siri tu ni maombi, unaambia Mwenyezi Mungu what you want and our God will be so faithful to provide unto you. Praise the name of the Lord. I will be visiting you in your homes. I will be visiting you. Hawa wazee wa kanisa watanipeleka na watanionyesha kwenu and very soon I will be having the district visitations. Kwa hivyo nitakuja, nitajua kwako, tutaomba na wewe, tutaomba na familia yako and these prayers they will continue. If you have anything, any issue that you would like us to commit before the Lord, I just want to say as I told the young people, my office will always be open. You, be, you feel free. We come, we commit that issue before the Lord. That burden that you have been having, that challenge that you have been committing before the Lord, just know that I will be ready to stand with you and we walk together in that journey. So, in times of sorrow, in, time of, in times of happiness, we will be together. Wakati mtakuwa celebrate mambo ya birthday, housewarming, dedication of vehicles and houses, and many other things, a dowry, we will be together. And even the time that we shall be crying because of one issue or another, these things that are inevitable in life, still we will stand and I will stand with you and we will walk together. Even if it is driving to Kisumu, to Mombasa, so that we may comfort your family, I will be ready and we will be ready to walk that journey together with you. Praise the name of the living God. My dear brethren, many are the times that even we as the Presbyterian, we feel as if our prayers are not enough here in the church. And many are times that maybe we usually think, I can go even to another pastor or to another bishop or to another so-and-so in another church or in another place so that I may get that spiritual nourishment or prayers. Let me tell you, tafadhali usienda kutafuta mungu uko. Sasa hako wapa. Bwana isu asifiwe. Tafadhali kuja na tutaomba. Bwana isu asifiwe. Kuja na tutaomba. Our God is able. Kwa hivyo usiwe na ene, ate kufikiria sijui wapi, ama wapi, we are just here, and we are going to join hands, we are going to believe in God, in many issues, and I believe God will do great and mighty things. We are going to continue working with the different ministries in the church, that is Women's Guild, PCMF, JPRC, and when I mention for the ladies, we are going to start that work next Sunday. Next Sunday, tutakuwa na ministry ya ladies hapa. After service, tutakuwa na fellowship ya ladies. So, I want to urge all the members in the church, tafadhali hakikisha, you belong to a given ministry. Uwe kuna mahali wewe uko, uko kwa eh, JPRC, uko kwa health, uko wapi, at least jiandikishe tu, just be somewhere, have a ministry, that this is your ministry. And when still I mention about that, there are so many things that God we are praying and trusting God that is going to enable us to have. As we continue with the year, Mungu atatusaidia na tutakuwa na so many seminars and the meetings, kama za single and the blessed families, widows and widowers, young couples, and many others that God is going to help us. I believe God is going to help us to preach the word of God to our people who are just here and even beyond this area that is through the evangelism, to end the door to door, open air, plus many others, to end a mission that kama ni kwa prison, to end to ubiria wale wako jela, to end, to takuwa mbaka na wale vijana wetu wa boda boda in this particular area, wanaumi ambao wako hapa tutakutana na tutaenda mbaka takama ni kupanda milima, tutapanda tokiwa pamoja na tuweze kuomba monyezi mungu, tutakuwa na seminars nyingi sana za groups, and uh, many other things. So one thing that I just want to urge us, tuwe kitu kimoja. Bwana isu asifiwe. Mungu tuwa tusaidie, tuwe kitu kimoja, na tutafanya kazi ambayo ni ya mwenyezi mungu. Praise the name of the living God. For the sake of what I was talking about, the prayers. 
for the sake of the prayers, not their demonstration things. For the sake of the prayers, I would like to share my number. Take my number. For the sake of the prayers, I would like to share my number. So take my number. Hiyo ndiyo namba nilikuwa natumia hata nikiwa karatina. I don't change and I don't plan to change. 0723. 0723-917135. 0723-917135. That is the number of your reverend. Kwa hivyo, naitu wa chege. So you can save it if surely you have an issue. No unataka maombi tafadhali. Tafadhali usikose kunipigia. Tuneza waomba ta through the phone. You can come, you can ask whether you can come in the office we pray so you feel free as we continue in the service of God. Anything that is administration, we pass through our elders. Any other thing, kama ni kufungua nyumba, kama ni nini, yote hizo zote, hizo kazi zote, mambo ya maumbolezi na nini zote, we have our elders here. Make sure you go through them. Lakini anything that is so personal, especially for the issue of the prayers, feel free to call me, to write a text, introduce yourself, and I shall be able to respond to that particular need. Sinisawa mbaka hapo. Tutakuwa tukiendelea kujuana as we progress tutajuana zaidi so for now i just want us to pray so that we may hear the word of god wacheni tuombe our god and our father we come before your throne of mercy another time has come for us to listen from you use me as a vessel of honor as i bring forth your word to your people be together with us in the name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen. My dear brethren, I want to bring the word of God to us this morning, few minutes to afternoon. Na leo tunawaomba kwa sababu ni siku ya kwanza na tulikuwa na mambo mengi. Tukipitisha tu kidogo saa sita kidogo tu, you just bear with us. Kidogo tu. I just want us to talk about the topic is gateway. 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 Can you imagine? Here is your topic. Gateway. Kwa hivyo, wale ambo wanaandika, and I will plead with you, as you come to the house of God, just be coming with a notebook. Na kama siyo notebook wenda kwa simu yako, kuna notebook kwa simu. At least be writing these sermons. Sometimes you might need it somewhere where you can go and even share the same word. I don't mean just today, even the other days to come. And even for the other speakers who will be coming here. We are talking about a gateway. So turn to your neighbor, Muliza, gateway ni nini? Because we are just, we are in a gateway. What is a gateway? Hey, tagia inaritari akwa ranilye. Ni akwere gateway ni ki. What is a gateway? When we are talking about a gateway. I can hear some people, they are saying, Thome. Sasa unona, sasa juwa timulitoka thome. Sasa mtu ananyambia, ne thome, na gekoyo. Isn't it? <laughs> eh, nedhome. Yes, nedhome. Isn't it? Yeah, we, are, uh, we accept it is dhome. Gateway in English. But uh, today, I want us, with the time that I found myself be, being sent in this parish, niliulizaga mungu, what is, the, what is the gateway and what am I going to come and do? Or what is the mission that you have for me in this church that is called a gateway? And what is a gateway? That is one thing that I was trying to get or to ask myself. And first of all, I am starting by defining or thinking about the word gate. So let us think about the word gate. It is an opening in a wall or in a fence. It is an opening. For example, even for example, if we can say that this is a building, this building here, or even the time that we usually construct the perimeter wall, there is a gate that is left somewhere that is phase. It is the one that we talk about uh, a gate. It is an open uh, space in a building. An open space. That is another definition that is being given somewhere. So an open uh, space like that one, still you can mention it as a gate, 
because it is somewhere that you are entering and it is a place that you can go out. That one is an opening. Still, when we are thinking about this gate, it is where people are able to go in and they go in carrying things. They can go in carrying things and still they can come out of that place when they are carrying some things. And I want you to imagine the place that you usually live. Pengine kuna gate pale ambapo unaishi. When you are entering that gate, there is some item, sometimes you are from a supermarket or a mall, there are some things that you are carrying as you enter that through that gate, and sometimes you carry some things, even when you are going out, so that is the space that we are talking about, my dear brethren. Still, when we are thinking about these gates, 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 even your body, the way Ebuji angalie, to Ebuji angalie kidogo, to jiangalie, no gather kagera mohujia, or gather kage, or go come over the kagera nisa, Ebuji angalie, Umeji angalia. Even your body, it has gates. Ebu imagine. And one of the gates that you have, it is your eyes. The other gate that you have is your mouth. The other gate that you have, it is your ears. And another gate that you have, it is the part of the sexual organs. That is, those are gates in your body. When we are thinking about these gates today, because I am trying to build so that we may understand the gateway and the concept that God is giving me in this particular time, in the Bible gateway or gates, they were very important. In information, the most in, uh, important information, it was passed at the gates. Hey, bwana iswa sifiwe? Sijui hapo kama unanielewa? At the most important messages or information, it was passed at the gates. The courts, mahali ambapo judgment was being done, it was done at the gates. Even for those people that used to do their businesses, they were doing the business at the gates. Still, if you read in some places, you find that even the worship, it was done at the gates. And still, we can think about Jesus, the time that he was talking to his disciples, working up Peter and the disciples. Aliweza kuwauliza, whom do the people say I am? Wakaanza kupeana so many examples or things. Lakini ya kawauliza, what about you? Who am I? Na ye ya kasema, you are the son of God. Na kamuambia, what you have already mentioned to me, umejulishu ama ni mungu amekufunulia. And he said that upon the rock, upon Peter, I will establish my church. And the gates of hell, the gates of hell shall not prevail. Praise the name of the living God. We are talking about these gates. Let me tell you something else here. When you read from the book of Genesis chapter 19 and verses 1. Genesis 19 verses 1. The time that God sent his angels to go and destroy the Sodom and Gomorrah, Lord met with the angels at the gates. Mahali Lord alikutana na these angels wakati wanakuja so that they may destroy. He met them at the gates. If you read from the book of Deuteronomy 21 and verses 18 and 21, there is this instruction that was given, the instruction. That if you have a stubborn son, a stubborn son, the stubborn son was supposed to be taken at the gates. And at that gate he will meet, he will meet what the elders, and the elders will judge that stubborn child. It is at the gates. If you read from the book of 2 Samuel 19, 1 and 2, 8, Mahali Ambapo to Mesoma. Immediately after the son, Absalom, the son of David, Wakati yeye alikufa, baada ya yeye kukufa, David, he was mourning his son, and a mourning his son. And that is the time that Joab went to him, na kamuambia, why are you mourning your son? And this son wanted to kill you. He wanted to take everything that is yours. Why are you mourning him? And he told him, you have really despised even your soldiers. Even though this Joab was telling David, 
na akamwambia can you go out and meet your soldiers go and encourage your soldiers kwa hivyo david yeye alitoka nje baada ya kutoka nje mahali ambapo alisimama na akasema watu wote waitwe it was at the gates praise the name of the living god i want you to know another thing about the gate when we think about esther the book of esther chapter 2 and verses 5 to 8 there was this time that the two servants that they used to be at the gates they plotted evil against the king and they wanted to kill the king lakini moridekai akaskia after yeye kusikia akaenda akaambia the king about the two men and the two men they were killed it was at the gate that that information was revealed or moridekai was able to get that information and report to the king let me tell you still about the gate. If you read from the book of Ruth, chapter 4, verses 1 to verses 8. It was at the gate. It was at the gateway. That gateway of Bethlehem. It was called Bethlehem. Where Boaz was allowed to marry Ruth. Can you imagine at the gateway of Bethlehem. That is where that Boaz was allowed. Now you can marry this girl by the name Ruth. Praise the name of the living God. Those are just examples that I'm giving about the gates. So when today we are saying that we are in a gateway church, this is a church or this is a place where I am believing and I am trusting upon God that God will be speaking to his people in this gateway. Praise the name of the Lord. God was in a position of sending his angels and they met this Lot at the gate and the angels they spoke. They spoke to Lot of what they were going to do. So in this gateway church, even as I start my ministry here today, this is a gateway where God will be speaking to his people. Say amen. amen. In this gateway, unaona malaika walikuja and they were in a position of revealing they were in a position of revealing what they were planning to go and do in Sodom and Gomorrah. So in this gateway, even as we started this ministry going onwards, God will be revealing to us where he wants to take us. Praise the name of the living God. I want to tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, it is in this gateway that even the marriages will be honored. Praise the name of the Lord. Even the people who want to be in marriages, God will provide even spouses and we shall be in a position of having weddings even in this place. Because in the gateway, up on deep of Ruth, alipata buwana yake ambaya naitua Boaz at the gateway. Praise the name of the Lord. It was at the gateway that the mourning and the sadness that David had towards his son Absalom Elishia. And that is what I want to believe to us. That if there is any sorrow, if there is any sadness, if there is any pain that you have been having, my dear brother, my dear sister, it is at this gateway that our sadness, our problems will come to an end. Praise the name of the Lord. It is at the gateway Moridekai was uplifted. He was uplifted from that gate. And that is what I want to believe. Even in this gateway, God is going to come and uplift us spiritually, materially, and everything. God will uplift us. Praise the name of the Lord. You can remember what we call a beautiful gate. Unakumbuka beautiful gate. In Acts chapter 2, unakutana na that man that was being taken there at the gate. A beautiful gate. And this man was sick for many years. Lakini at the gateway, that is the place that he met the disciples and his healing from that particular time. It is at this gateway, even our healing, we are going to realize in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. It is at this gateway that we are going to get uh, the Satan will be defeated. Satan will be defeated at this gateway. That is my prayer, that is my wish, even as we continue. Let me tell you this, my dear brother, my dear sister. In this gateway, it will be a place, you see, gateway. 
You are entering somewhere so that you may receive something, isn't it? Yes. In this gateway, when we shall be entering here, it will be a gateway to love. Amen. It will be a gateway to forgiveness. Amen. It will be a gateway to unity. Amen. It will be a gateway to worship. Amen. It will be a gateway to humility. Amen. It will be a gateway to prayers. It will be a gateway to salvation. It will be a gateway to prosperity. It will be a gateway to healing. It will be a gateway to peace and joy. It will be a gateway to fasting. It will be a gateway to mission and evangelism. It will be a gateway to equality. It will be a gateway to praise and worship. It will be a gateway to ideas and great projects. It will be a great way to, gateway to restoration. It will be a gateway to growth. Praise the name of the living God. <laughs> My dear brethren, that is the mission that God is giving me to bring in this particular place. That it will be a gateway. Another thing that I want you to get that one, it is, wakati ambapo unaingia mahali, ata kama likuwa kwa kwa gate. Nilisema pale mbeleni, huwa unaingia ukiwa mebeba mizigo. So sometimes even you, you might be coming to gateway ukiwa kuna mzigo umebeba. Pengine kuna mzigo ambao ni wadhambi umebeba. It is at this gateway ambao mungu ataweza kuku, kukusamehe dhambi zaku. Maybe utakuwa umebeba mzigo ambao ni wa pain. Uchungu ndani ya moyo wako. It is my prayer wakati utaingia katika hii milango yote. All the pains that you will be having utawacha hapa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Maybe when you be coming here you will be coming carrying rejection. Eh hey, wakati unaingia katika hii milango when you will be coming out of this place naomba Mungu akusaidie you will be going out with the love and not a rejection. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It is my prayer pengine unaweza ingia katika hii milango ukiwa na bitterness in your heart. It is my prayer when you will be leaving that this doors Iyo pita nesiote, itakuwe imeisha, na utaenda with the joy and with the peace. Praise the name of the living God. That is the gateway for us. Gateway for what? For all this. Praise the name of the living God. For a few minutes as I finish, I want to talk about gateway to forgiveness. That is the first topic. Nimalize. Gateway to forgiveness. This is a gateway, this is a place for forgiveness. Gateway to forgiveness. My dear brethren, we live at times where we wrong God. Tuwa tunafanyia mungu makosa. And if we can say that we don't sin, tunajidanganya. Even the people who are born again here, sometimes we find ourselves sinning in one way or another. But our God is so faithful. And that is why even he has given us the Lord's prayer where we usually tell God may you forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So one of the things that I want us to understand when we are asking for the forgiveness the first person to ask for the forgiveness it is our God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe Ebu ambie you are a neighbor lazimo uombage msamaha kwa mungu because we are all sinners, we have gone short of the glory of God. Tunajikutaka katika dhambi, tukiongea, tukifikiria, tukitembea, tukitena mambo mengi. We are sinners. We hate people. We speak ill about people. Sometimes we don't follow even the Ten Commandments. So we find ourselves we are sinners. And if there is one place or one person to talk to, it is our God and we tell God, forgive us. Because we have gone short of your glory. Praise the name of the Lord. When we are thinking about this forgiveness here, even as we find ourselves sinning, here are other people. And tunawatendia mambo ambayo si mazuri. Tunakosia wale watu ambayo tunaishi na wao. Tunakosia wa umewetu na wake zetu. Tunawakosia watoto wetu na watoto wanakosia wazazi. Tunafika mahali tunakosea watu ambao tunawishi na wao pale in our neighborhood. Tunakosea watu katika districts zetu and even in our groups. 
Tunakosea watu hata hapa kanisani tunakosea wazee wa kanisa ama wazee wa kanisa wanatukosea in one way or another ama mchungaji ninawakosea So in this life we find ourselves kutunatendania mabaya na wengine wanatutendea mabaya Praise the name of the Lord Lakini let me tell you this Sana sana katika maisha hutakosa kutendewa mabaya Hautakosa kukosewa na yule ambaye mnaishi na yeye. Dukaka kadhini wa mtulili huyo, ni uite hiyo ni mdhuri wako. Ni uite hiyo ni mtumia wako. Ni uite hiyo ni mwanakana neighbor. Dukaka. But the paramount thing that I want us to understand, we need to be in a gateway of forgiveness. Gateway to forgiveness that you will be having a heart of forgiveness. Utaweza kusamehea yule mwingine. That is my prayer for you. I know you might have been see yani wronged by your friend lakini tafadhali tafadhali nidakohoya gia na ngoro ya kurekanira mwatho ni Jesu arogojwo pengine wali kusemanga ndio walisema kukuhusu walisema kuhusu familia yako walisema kuhusu kazi zako walisema hata kuhusu kipawa chako ndio walikukosea maybe you are bleeding Maybe you are in pain. Maybe you are in sorrow for right now. Lakini let me tell you, we are in a gateway to forgiveness. Praise the name of the living God. We must forgive one another. There is this story that was given in the book of Matthew 18:21 to 35. Peter akaenda akauliza Yesu. How many times should one forgive? Ndio anaenda anauliza Yesu. Akamuuliza mara saba. Maita mugu waja. Lakini Yesu akaweza kumrudishia akamwambia 70 times 7. Ndio Yesu alimwambia. Maita mirogo mugu waja, maita mugu waja. So it is around 490 in a day. Hebu ambie your neighbor for 90 per day. Hebu hebu fikiria, hebu fikiria wewe. 490 in a day, 490 in a day. 490 na day na niguo guku ma utinda guhurite dukarekera mudu ati alinitenda ati alisema sijue alifanya nini umekatu we umebeba mtu tu na ka umembeba tu uturago mukuete haha and Jesus gave this example that you need to forgive that person 490 times in a day not even at his heart in a day imagine maita mario tage kinyia praise the name of the lord and that is the time still jesus gave an example hapa ama story akasema there was one king and this king akaenda alikuwa na mfanyikazi wake a slave akaambia yule slave ninataka unilipe deni yangu na alikuwa na deni ya 10000 talents or gold 10000 Negera ido si yakwa ni gwathiri akimwira. Negera ido si yakwa 10000 of them. Lakini ule slave na wakati huo tayari the king alikuwa amechukua mke wake na amechukua watoto na nataka aende na wao ama aweke katika prison. Lakini this slave akapiga magoti, akaanguka mbele ya mfalme, akamwambia tafadhali tafadhali na kuomba nisamehe. Sina pesa, siwezi kukulipa, sina uwezo, wachilia watoto wangu, achilia mke wangu. And the king was merciful. Akaachilia mke na watoto. Yule slave akaenda amefurahi. Akidhia kenete, akenete kwa sababu mke wake na watoto wameachiliwa. Lakini alipofika pale nyumbani ama pale kazini akakutana na mtu ambaye alikuwa na deni yake ya a hundred. Are you getting me? Slave ana mtu ambaye ako na deni yake ya a hundred, akaenda akamwambia tafadhali, nederenda ote hebeza si yakwa, igana ri yakwa nederenda. Lakini huyu jamaa akamwambia, "Woi, mimi sina." Akamwambia, "Mimi sitaki kujua, ninataka unipatie mali yangu." Lakini akaplead na yeye akakataa lakini at long last alifanya yeye ashikwe na warushwe na watu wake pale eh, in the prison 
Let me tell you the other slaves they were very unhappy. Wakakasirika sana. Na wakaenda kwa mfalme na wakamwambia vile ambavyo huyu amefanya. Sasa na mfalme akakasirika na akaita yule slave akamwambia wewe you are a wicked slave. You are an evil one. Hebu angalia me I forgive you 10000 talents or gold. Surely you cannot forgive a hundred. Praise the name of the living God. You cannot forgive a hundred, really? Mm. Sasa hapo ndio ninataka uangalie hapa. Just think about our heavenly Father. Hebu fikiria zile dhambi Mungu alikusamehe. Just think about them. Hebu fikiria vile ulikuwa mbaya. Hebu fikiria vile ulikuwa unaua wa, yani unaua watu kwa maneno. Hebu fikiria vile ulikuwa unachapana. Hebu fikiria venye ulikuwa unafikiria mabaya na kutena mabaya. Ririkana mehia Maria we hagia. When you pleaded with our God, he forgave you all your sins. Lakini when your neighbor, your friend, wakati anakukosea kidogo hivi, hivi tu kidogo tu hivi, you are not ready to forgive that person. And that is why as we start this particular time, it is we are in a gateway to forgiveness. That we need to forgive our brothers. Forgive your sister. Forgive your brother, your mother. Forgive your father. Forgive your colleague. Pale kazini. Forgive each and every person. I beseech you. Yeyote ambaya mekukosea. Praise the name of the living God. We fail to forgive. We fail. Do you remember Jacob and Esau? Unakumbuka hiyo story? Hata kama Jacob alikuwa medanganya brother yake na memuibia urithi wake, the time came that Jacob they came and they risk reconciled. Waliweza kusameheana na brother yake na safari ikeendelea. Hata wewe na brother yako pale nyumbani go and reconcile. Hata wewe na your church member can you go and reconcile? Hata wewe na maybe you are colleague pale kazini can you go and reconcile Jacob and Esau so they reconciled think about Joseph and the brothers Joseph had to be, to forgive his brothers the people who wanted to kill him the people who sold him but Joseph forgave them just think about Jesus even on the cross akiwa pale juu Aliweza kuambia Mungu may you forgive them for they don't know what they were doing or they are doing. Just the think about Stephen when these people are stoning him. Wanampiga kwa mawe kwa mawe kwa mawe. But for him he was able to tell God forgive them for they don't know what they are doing. Remember even the issue of Hosea the time that he was marrying a goma a prostitute. Still Ata he was forgiving that wife na wanaendelea na safari when he was instructed by God. My dear brethren, forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. Gateway to forgiveness. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Gateway to? Ambia, ambia your neighbor, gateway to forgiveness. <laughs> Nataka tujiulize hili swali, whom to forgive or who to forgive. Start by forgiving yourself. Are you getting me? Anza kwa kujisamehea wewe mwenyewe. There are so many things that you did that even today unaishi na ile pain, unaishi na ile hali ya kuona I did this. Ujawahi jisamehe kwa sababu ya jambo fulani ulitenda. Kwa sababu ya dhambi ulifanya, you have never forgiven yourself. From today forgive yourself. Secondly forgive your parents. Kuna watu wameishi kubeba wazazi wao hapa. Umebeba mama yako, umebeba baba yako. Mama, umebeba mtoto wako. Forgive your parents. Uko hapa, I want to beg you. May you forgive even your spouse. Kuna dhambi your spouse did. There is that a thing that your spouse did. That even today you have pain in your heart. You have never let it go. Hujai achilia. Ninataka kukuambia forgive your spouse I beg you. Alitenda hilo jambo you cannot reverse. Alitenda, alitenda. Alitenda tafadhali. Na kwa sababu alitenda the only thing, the only option ndio muishi kwa amani just forgive him or forgive her. Forgive your children. 
Forgive your elder. Forgive your pastor. Forgive your deacon. Forgive your fellow district member. Forgive your leaders. Forgive your employee, employer. Forgive even your employees. Forgive everyone. Praise the name of the living God. Ambia mwenzako forgive everyone. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nikimalizia hapa. For you to forgive or be forgiven, for you to forgive or to be forgiven, you must be compassionate. Eh ile ile hari sasa umeona dhambi zako. Be ready to release or you just let it go. And be patient with one another. Hapo naweza sema tu kitu kidogo. Be patient to one another. Ebu imagine how utakuwa huyo mtu mwingine. You will never be your neighbor. Your neighbor will never be like you. You come from different places, from different mothers, and that is where you find yourself mune your collision. So just be patient with one another. Musome na ujue tabia zake, mienendo yake, ujue vile utaishi na huyo mtu. Be patient with one another. Another thing, be ready to change your character. Be ready to change your character. Na ndiposa weza kusamehewa vizuri, even in your family, be ready to change your character. Usiishi, kila wakati unasema nisamehe, nisamehe. Unaishi kusema negoma, negoma, negoma. Asha, change your character. Be willing to lead a new life. Yes, be ready to lead a new life. Nikimalizia, why should we forgive? Why? It is a must we forgive. Why? Because God forgives us. That is the reason. You must forgive your brother, your sister, your friend, because even when you ask the, for the forgiveness from God, Mungu wana kusamehe. For God forgives you. Another reason that makes us forgive, because the lack of forgiveness, it is a self-torture. When you lack forgiveness, you are torturing yourself. Kila wakati unashindu unafikiria mambo ya yule mtu. Let me tell you, you use a lot of calories. Kwa mwili, kila wakati, odhiyo waku, otidagi oku ujeti yo. Ginya doreda kutido kirora adu. Ize tigua? Ate ginya wamu onosi yorora ga igoro. Najo kuna watu kama hawa. Hawezi kukuangalia hivi, ya naangalia ga ju. Uko hapa, lakisi wezi kukuangalia hivi, ya naangalia ga ju. Why? Kwa sababu ataki mumit, ataki muonge, ataki nini? Let me tell you, be ready. Be ready to forgive because it is a self-torture when you fail to forgive your friend. Another thing, when you fail to forgive, it can lead to many bad things. Your marriage can come to an end. Even it does the suicidal cases, stress, the depression, ulcers, mambo mengi, shida nyingi kwa mwili wako. So forgive. Another thing, that if we fail to forgive, we live in disharmony. Hatutaishi pamoja. It is, you live in a very poor relationship. Hamutuwezi salimiana, hamuwezi kula pamoja, hamuwezi pelekana, hamuwezi sijue enjoy pamoja kwa sababu ya poor relationship because you are not ready to forgive. When you fail to forgive, it hinders your prayer. The prayers that you are making, it hinders your prayer. So that is why even as we started this journey, even as we walk together, I am just calling us to be or to go to be in the gateway of forgiveness. We are, we are ready to forgive unconditionally. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unconditionally. Usipiane condition. Lakini forgive your brother, your sister. Praise the name of the living God. Nikimalizia hapo. Na nigeta tutigaturagi horo wa forgiveness ego shio de. Tigana na deto shiene. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tigana na deto shike. Tigana na deto shiene. Tigana na mushene. Nyoka bago kuirama. Shida nyingi hizi za kufanya watu wanakaa kila wakati. Uwezi yona mtu na muwezi yongea na ee. Ni odo wa deto ki. Ni deto shiene. Wachana na mambo ya wenyewe. Maudu mario towe tigana na mu. Nwanyi toguwa. Ni kure do makoro go mega sheru. Mega sheru. Spice. Ize tigua? Wira waone o spy. Ize tigua? Ne mo kinyi o horo. Ni kure do makoro go maria kinyi a horo. O horo. Tigo oko. Uto dike mo enie. No wanyi to go bate there those people. Wira waone go kinyi agi ake. Go kinyi agi adeto. Modo ake menya ni ora kinyi diesi ake. Ni mo kwe dana. 
Nimbo kwa dana. Nekyo dene dango kuwira wei menye dene. Neji guerire. Your mouth is a gate. Your mouth is a gate. Hena maudomaria kanu waka ukarutaga. Na hena maudomaria kanu waka ukeigagiria. So, tigara na detoshi ene so that we may live in peace. Bwana iso asefiwe. Yes. Nuna mudogo nyo igire mind your own business. Nene mudogo igire. Nemo neto mind aga business ishi ya doige. Na adomo no. Toge kora gatu imadhe yuna ine maige. Nyo doa kwa dagoti didera. Tewa iga ajo eko. Neke ya reka. Yeti guwa. Wacha ana yeye. Bwana iso asefiwe. Live a life that is worthy the gospel of Jesus Christ. That is what I can just tell you. You just live a life that is worthy the gospel of Jesus Christ. Nadoa kuwane. You cannot afford kila wakati kuwa na mzigo. Stress. Depression. Nurio kuwa nide. Nurio kuwa ire kanitha. Oreda kuwa nide wa kanitha wa yonane wa kuiriru ne kristo. Nurio kuwa ire. Nurio kuwa ire elda. Nurio kuwa ire mutu ugatirika. Nurio kuwa ire dikoni. Are you getting me? Dugia na dae wa kuu. Bwana isu asifiwe. Agambo mara raga maki hao kaka otuko. Nure wezi ridi ya siene. Ura rola genya ura ligo kaya gotake ira. Na hedo ni danyanya si otuko. Oka ligo kore eki yali. Because we are just thinking about other people. Wachana watu. Bwana isu asifiwe. So my dear brother, my dear sisters, we continue this journey. I just want to beg you. Let us forgive one another. Forgive. Tuwira goto tega tukithia na marakara. Go tukithia na kee na marakara. Kogo genya go tuka doge tekele go tuka kwe na marakara. Just let it go. Forgive that person. Move on with the life. This is a gateway to forgiveness. Gateway to forgiveness. Tusimameni.